everybody. I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you a really interesting recipe for how to grill Napa Jack sweet and spicy mustard tindora. If you've never heard of tindora, it's a little kind of gourd. It's actually some kind, sometimes called baby watermelon, it's called an ivy gourd, it's called gentleman's toes, it's also called some other names as well. But it is a little tiny gourd and actually in many countries grows like a weed. Um, but it's very, very high in nutrients. It's high in beta carotene, it has vitamin A and vitamin C in it, and they're really, really cute. They look like little tiny watermelons, don't they? So what I've done is I've just washed these under cold water, and I've cut the ends off if I need to on some of them that might not look so So awesome. Tindora is kind of a, a South Asian, even African sort of uh, vegetable. Oftentimes it is sliced up, washed and sliced up, and it's um, fried, pan fried with some really nice spices, usually black mustard, some pepper, some chili, um, and a little bit of oil. It doesn't take much to make these guys taste good because they are very, very lovely. These are the young um, fruit of this particular plant. Uh, these are not mature. Mature ones are like bright red in color, but this is how these ones are um, eaten. It all, grows all through Africa, um, all through Asia, and uh, also Australia, I believe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of keep with those sort of themes, and we're going to grill this on our grill today. And I know they're tiny, so you're not going to actually grill them on the grates. I'm using using kind of a grill pan, okay? So it has holes in it, and I'm going to get the nice char. It's going to cook that through there, and we're going to have a really awesome side dish. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and just mince up some fresh cilantro from my garden. You can use parsley if you don't have that. I think I do have a little bit of parsley in here as well. Parsley and some cilantro, okay? You don't have to do this. This is not necessarily a traditional way to do this, but we're going to keep with some nice, uh, same flavor themes as you would do in a South Asian style dish. So a little bit of lime. I'm going to squeeze a half of a lime in here. Keep our flavors nice and bright. I'm serving this alongside some really awesome grilled salmon steaks. It's Napa Jack's um, Amber Beer Mustard Salmon Steaks. Oh, can't wait to show you that recipe. Make sure you check it out. I'm going to use a little bit of peanut oil today. You could use whatever kind of oil you want. I just want to kind of get these guys coated. I'm going to use just uh, maybe a half of a teaspoon of a nice curry paste, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. Just want to get a little bit of curry flavor on there. You could use a curry powder, no problem. A little bit of pepper, freshly ground, a little bit of salt, and some of this amazing Napa Jack's sweet and spicy mustard. Make sure you check out my review on this. It is so delicious. You can tell it has some nice whole grains in it. It is sweet and it is spicy, and that's just how I like my mustard. There you go. You can see a little bit of flex in now, there. Now this is fantastic on your sandwiches and your burgers, pulled pork even. Uh, but this is also good for vinaigrettes, uh, salad dressings like that, and we're going to use it today on here because typically in many South Asian dishes you're using mustard. I don't have black mustard seeds. It's really hard to find here, but no problem. You can substitute with different things as well and make it kind of a little bit more exciting. Now this is a coarse ground um, Dijon mustard uh, with beautiful cane, organic cane sugar and it gives a little bit of sp like a southern style spicy kick and that's going to go actually very beautifully with this. Take a quick taste. Mm. I'm excited. So, I'm going to use about a half a teaspoon of that as well, maybe just a tiny bit more, maybe three quarters of a teaspoon. Lots of flavor in this little jar. Now you can find this at winecountrykitchens.com for this and a whole line of their Napa Jack's uh, mustards. Really, really flavorful, flavorful things that helps you diversify your, um, your cooking. Really, really great. So I'm going to use my hands, because that's my best tool, and I'm going to go ahead and just toss that all together with all these beautiful flavors. Mm. Something a little bit different to serve alongside your burger or your steaks this grilling season. Now that's what we have just nicely coated and we'll see you outside at our grill. We're preheating it on a nice high heat. We're also going to preheat our grilling pan. So get that ready. You'll see me outside. All right, my grill pan and my grill have been preheating on high. This is what my grill pan looks like. It has slots in the bottom and it's nice and hot. Okay. Onto the grill pan goes my tindora. And just let these guys grow up until they're nice and tender and get a little bit of char on them. That's the whole point. 
see you in a few minutes. This won't take very, very long. The tindora looks great. It's starting to char on, on these sides, and the smell is amazing. So just keep turning them. I, I would say we're about halfway there. They've only been on here for maybe five minutes. They look like little pickles on them. All right, my tindora is done. It smells and looks fantastic. It's nice and tender on the inside. And we're just going to take that off, put it in our serving dish. Gorgeous. So that's what we have going on, that nice little bit of char. It's nice and tender. Oh, can't wait. See you inside. Well, Mom, would you like to try some of this tindora? Mm -hmm. It looks fantastic. There's your grilled tindora. Really, really amazing side dish and really a conversation piece because I bet most people have never even heard of tindora, let alone tried tindora. Ready? All right. Well, Mom's had tindora before, and we've done the pan saute, and we really like that. So this is a nice little play on the same sort of flavors. Mm, lovely. Here you go, Mom. Why don't you try that? I'm going to get myself a little plate. And this will go perfectly alongside our fish tonight. Yes? Mm. I love trying new and exotic type of foods. Mm. So if you see things in your grocery store, pick it up, look up a recipe online, and experiment with it. What's the worst that could happen? Mmm, that's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mm. But the char is beautiful on there. That's mm. such a nice, nice taste. A friend of yours really introduced you mm -hmm. to something special. Mm -hmm. That was really nice of her. Sure was. It's nice and tender inside. Mm. Oh, so good. Mm. And they're good for you. I really like them. You know, they're considered to be a weed in many countries. They just well, overgrow. So are dandelions. <laughs> they are, and people eat dandelions. That's right. Mm. At least when they're young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is the young, the young um, fruit of this vine. It's mm. an ivy gourd. It's called. Mm. They also call it gentleman's toes. <laughs> I wish you hadn't said that. And baby watermelon. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. So tasty. Very good. Well, good. now you know how some other people eat, and uh, what delicious, delicious food. Uh, don't get stuck in your rut of the same old thing all the time. Don't be scared. Pick it up. Try it. Everyone might like it. Okay? Plus, it's full of nice nutrients, and vitamins, and minerals. You're going to like it. And that's how you do it. That's how you grill up Napa Jack Sweet and Spicy Mustard Tindora. Love You're going to love it. You telling you. nice flavor of the mustard there. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm You like that? I love it. A little bit sweet. A little bit spicy. Mm hmm It's awesome. A little bit of lime on there, mm -hmm. some cilantro, you're going to like it. So make sure you check out Wine Country Kitchens online at winecountrykitchens.com for this awesome mustard, as well as their other whole cool line of mustards. They've got barbecue sauces and the whole nine yards. Really, really tasty things. You're going to like it. All right, so check out Mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And you can find my channel on Roku, Cooking with Kimberly. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.